What's up guys and welcome back to another episode of Saving Bray. This is the ninth episode of the series and today we've got games against Spurs away, Crystal Palace at home and Burnley at home as well. Bray Wanderers enter the episode one point above the drop zone but do have games in hand on the teams around them and after I went over Huddersfield in the last episode plus the clean sheet too, I'm feeling optimistic today we can climb further at the table and further away from the drop zone. First game Spurs away at Wembley, let's make it back to back wins. Well, this is going to be a very tough test. But we did win our last away game. We did keep what I believe was our first clean sheet of the series as well. So no reason we can't do it again. Let's go Bray. Spurs, of course, a very strong line. I know Harry Kane leading the line for them. Hugo Lloris in goal. Ali is on the bench. That's good to see because he normally scores against me in career mode always. But very good team. Certainly favourites tonight, no question. And as for our team, it's the exact same 4-4-2 as the one that beat the Terriers on the weekend. With just a one change, of course, that is Tumacero missing out through injury. Uh, I'm not sure what it's shown you or not, but uh, Tumacero did get an injury uh, in the last game against Huddersfield. And unfortunately, he's out for five days, so we'll miss this match. So Brennan fills in. First game. Spurs, not expecting much, but come on, Brad, I'll take a point. Definitely, definitely, I'll take a point away against Spurs at Wembley. I mean, it'll be a decent result, that, and if we get a clean sheet too, that's that's pretty impressive. That'll be no losses in our last two, and uh, I'd, I'd certainly be content with that as Jackie gets onto the ball, turns and finds Eugene Sun, and you could be through straight away! Oh, he fires it just off target. We're not going to get many chances tonight. You scored against Liverpool, played forward there by Eugene Sun, and that, oh, just wide the post. Christian Eriksen for Spurs, though, trying to get around Eugene Sun, who is there, and gets it through to Jackie. And maybe a chance here for a quick counter attack. Jackie holds on to it and plays that wide towards Tossang Ricketts. We started this game off very well, and then Ryan McHugh go and do that, and Eugene Sun kicks the air. So um, that wasn't a great evidence there to support my theory of us starting the game off. Well, Kane gets round one, shoots, oh, just over the bar, got to keep him quiet tonight, Harry, once he gets a sight of goal, you know he's going to shoot, got to keep him quiet. Spurs coming through here, going to the middle, Kane finds a little bit of space, also finds Wanyama, and Christian Eriksen fires it in off the post, and the Dane gives Spurs the lead, gutted. I mean, we knew it was going to be a tough game tonight. We knew that getting a point in this game was realistically the best we could hope for. But ball to Kane, gives it back towards Wanyama, into Eriksen. Nice little passing, and Roy Carroll can do nothing about that. 1-0. Wanyama through the gap. Oh, Hagazi, no, Hagazi. Oh, Roy Carroll. What a save to pay it out his Egyptian defender. Calling him there, saying, come on, bruv, what was that? Miscontrols. Eriksen through for a second. But Roy Carroll, what goalkeeping from a 40-year-old. Roy Carroll, that was excellent. Excellent goalkeeping there to keep us still only trailing by one and a half where Spurs have dominated. But as things stand, the game is not beyond us yet. Half time, it is only 1-0. We have been dominated, but not in the scoreline. We can still get back in this. Come on, lads. Second half begins. Only trailing by one. Plenty of time for us to get back in this game. Let's create some chances, get some opportunities, and get that equalising goal. Oh, Gazzy, what was that? What kind of pass was that? No, no, that was terrible from me. Kane's through, and Carroll again. Roy Carroll, he's pointing at Cassie and saying, come on, mate, sort it out. That was a terrible pass by yours, truly. Almost came back to cost us, but as Kane bared down on goal, Roy Carroll with another fine save. I've got to say, he is really impressed tonight. Maybe you can see that, but he's been really good. We have not played well tonight. I have been terrible, particularly with my passing, but Roy Carroll has kept us in this game so far. But he may need to provide heroics again here because Son is down the right, holds off Ben Chilwell. The Korean steps inside. There's Quincy in space. And again, Roy Carroll makes the save. He can't believe this. He must be sitting there thinking, come on, man, seriously, I'm 40 years old. I deserve a night off after this. Then belly to Kane, and then Cortal fires it away as well. How on earth are we still only trading by one? Ben Davies. Davies. Oh, but that's going to do it. That's going to do it. Ben Davies with a wonderful goal, and the former Swansea man makes it 2-0. It's game over. It was coming. Roy Carroll has put on a goalkeeping masterclass tonight. Very rarely do you say that, but Ben Davies has secured the points for Spurs with a wonderful strike, and an Northern Irish shot stopper can't stop that one. It's 2-0, and the game's over. I mean, it is literally no less than they deserve. I'm not even going to bother trying to dress it up any other way and saying, oh, we were unlucky there. No, we We've been absolutely dominated tonight. Cotal, you, can we get a consolation? No, Clarice is there. And the referee blows for full time, and that will do it. Final score, Spurs 2, Bray Wanderers 0. And to be fair, I mean, I can't believe I'm saying this on the back of a loss, but, well, it could have been a lot worse. It could have been far worse. 
And the stats certainly back that up. You would have seen it by the highlights. 16 shots, 8 on target compared to 2-1. and one, And 58% possession for Spurs as well. They absolutely dominate from start to finish. But man of the match has to go to Mr. Roy Carroll. He may have conceded twice tonight, but he made a string of fine saves in this game. Bailed us out so many times and kept the scoreline more than respectable. Roy, we salute you, son. And our goal difference doesn't take a hammering because of you. 40 years old and putting in those sort of performances. Love it. I mean, we did lose 2-0, so we can't call it a good result or anything, but we've got the second worst defensive record in the division with uh, 30 goals conceded. Only Newcastle have conceded more goals than us, but we should have conceded like six, seven, eight goals in that game. Roy Carroll was just on one. You've got to say fair play to him. And heading into our second game against Burnley today, I'm going to be fielding a completely weakened side for this game. We've got a massive basement battle on the weekend against Crystal Palace just below us in the table right now. Cannot afford to lose that and I need my first team including Roy Carroll fit for the match. So nights off for all the boys. It's Burnley second game. I'd certainly take a point in a nil-nil with this bizarre lineup. Come on Bray. This is like a game for the original Bray Wanderers team to prove themselves. You know there's so many new faces here at Carlisle Ground. So many players we brought back from Series 1 and some new faces for Series 2 as well. It's a chance for the actual real Bray Wanderers players to prove that these new guys aren't all that. We're still good enough to play for this team. This is just a really bizarre team. A really weird team. 4-1-2-1-2 wide. Very strange. Wang's there. Router's there. Lookman's there. But for the most part, it's, it's just a really bad team. But if we can get a point in a nil-nil, I'm taking it. I'm sitting there thinking, seriously? I mean, seriously, how much do we pay for this game? Where's Jackie? Where's Yu Bao? Where's Chumacero? Who the hell are these players? But for Burnley, uh, their team is a 4-4-2, and it is much better than ours, no doubt about it. So, should be expecting back-to-back -back losses. Haven't won here in Ireland since October against Everton. It's going to be a tough game, this one, but come on, Bray Wanderers. The original Bray Wanderers. Show me what you can do. Lynch into Router. Finds Lookman, and Lookman across to... No one. And uh, he'll play that way towards Douglas to ginger that through to McCabe. Actually, some good football here as we uh, look for a chance early. And that's not a bad cross. And look, man, could have got on the end of it as well. You know, I think these backup boys are going to be saying, we've not been playing all season long. We deserve a chance. We've got it today. Let's go take it. Ashley Barnes for Burnley, looking for space to get a shot away. Sullivan makes the tackle, but can't get it clear. Vokes is there. Vokes is there. Douglas blocks the first shot. Oh, and Wang. What a save to deny the second. Goalkeepers are turning up today. First Roy Carroll, and then Wang, who wanted more game time, with a brilliant save. What a stop by our Chinese number one. There was absolutely no reaction from Wang either after that miraculous save. Just gets up as if to say, yeah, I know what I can do. I know what I can do. I'm better than that old man. Put me back in the team, son. That was a brilliant save by Wang there. He's going to have a busy afternoon, no doubt, with our makeshift defence. And here come Burnley again. Goodmanson shoots. And this time, Wang is beaten. Goodmanson with a finish. Burnley going from, it was to be expected, 1-0. Provided heroics a moment ago, can't stop this one. Goodmanton played in behind the back line. It's a brilliant finish across the body of Wang into the far corner. Can't point the fingers at the keeper. 1-0, Burnley in front. And we're going to have to come from behind to claim something in this game. Not a great start. Stephen DeFore for Burnley into Sam Vokes. And folks out wide towards Arfield. And here comes Sean Dyche's team again here. Arfield gets inside, finds the four. Great passing. Barnes is through wide the post. It's all Burnley. And that's exactly what we expected. We can't cope. Green into the feet of Adam Ola Lookman. And Lookman's found some space. Lookman bears down on goal. Oh, saved by the goalkeeper. And Ward heads it behind for a corner. I should have just smashed it. Instead, try to place it. Wrong decision. And a golden chance spurned as Lookman then went for the acrobatic. But this shot goes out for a throw in and that sums up our first half of the season. We're trying, we're doing our best, but we're failing miserably. I think that also sums up my life over the past 24 months. Ashley Westwood into our field. Douglas gets it clear. And uh, now Green to Lookman. And again, he's got one man to beat here, Lookman. He's going to turn him again and play that wide towards Router. Great work from Adam Ola. Router on the ball. Turns. Pops it back inside. Lookman goes for goal. This time the smash is well saved by the goalkeeper. But a great spell of pressure to end this first half as we look for that equalising goal. Oh, and Lookman's on the board again here. Lookman's on the board again. He's doing it all himself. He's doing it all himself. Adam Ola, Lookman. 
Dan. Oh my goodness, what a goal. Ray Wanderers won, Burnley won, and Adam Ola Lookman has just scored a sensational solo goal. Turns a few white shirts, dinks it over the goalkeeper, and it drops into the bottom corner. Adam Ola Lookman, our best player this afternoon, with a moment of magic to put us back on level terms. What a fantastic solo goal that was. Come on. As I was going through there one-on-one, -on -one, there was a covering defender, and I was thinking, I've messed up with the smash shot. I've messed up with the finesse shot. So let's dink it over the goalkeeper instead. Third time lucky. 1-1, one, one, baby. Come on. Lynch to Router. And back out wide towards Lynch. You know I'm looking for look, man. You know I've got to look for the man. Here he is. Adamola steps inside. Off the post. What a game he's had. Burnley really going for it now. Lynch heads away that long ball though. And look, man flicks it backwards. What a game he's had. As we play it through to McCabe. Into green. Look, man. Router. Look, man. Off the post again. Off the post again. We've been so unlucky to not score a second. Adam Mola's had a stormer. And twice he's hit the woodwork this afternoon. So unlucky. Well, that is going to do it. I said I'd take a point free game, and I'll take come to final whistle as well. Final score, Bray Wanderers won, Burnley won. It was a B team, a makeshift team. One of our legends from Series 1 really stepped up in this game to give us a point and could have won all three. We'll take it. So unlucky not to win this game. You know, I thought we played really well. I said these boys had a point to prove, and one person definitely proved a point. Adam Mola looked, man, so good today, getting that equalising goal and so almost won it for us as well hitting the post twice in this game but fair play to him get us a point and because of that he's going to get a lot more chances in the second half of the season thank you look man great game we'll take the point the other 10 players probably sitting there thinking yeah but what about us boss we didn't play that badly yes you did yes you did it was all adam ola look man I'm just looking at what that result means for the table as well bray wanderers one point above the drop zone 17 games in and the team we're above is the team we face in our third and final game today. Crystal Palace at Carlisle Ground in a massive relegation six-pointer. Oh, I'm pumped, baby. Bring them on. Relegation six-pointers are what we live for. Bray Wanderers against Crystal Palace. One point separating the teams. Come on, Bray. Oh, I am pumped. I am pumped for this. Our team, 4-4-2, back to our normal league lineup for the game despite our joy with Burnley on the weekend. But the one player that did start in that game that does start tonight is Adam Mola Lookman. Up top with Jackie, the Series 1 duo. And we need a Series 1 performance from all of this team if we are to come through and get the win. And as for the Crystal Palace team, it's a very threatening 4-4-2 in going forward with Punchin and Townsend on the wings. Very good inside forwards to cut in and shoot. Going to have to watch that. And up top together, Christian Benteke and also Danny Welbeck as well. Very tough team to face, but they've not won a single game away from home so far this season. Let's not let this become their first. Let's get to win ourselves and climb further away from the drop zone. It is the big basement battle with so much much riding on it for both teams so early on in the season and it could have and should have been the perfect start Jackie who hasn't scored a goal in quite a few games bears down on goal and scuffs it way wide of the post Jackie what's happened to you he's getting dropped at this rate He's getting dropped. He, he's the hero from Series 1. He's our top scorer this season, but hasn't scored in quite a few games. Got, you know, got a couple of assists as well in the last couple of episodes, but at the moment, he can't finish for Toffee. For Crystal Palace, Andros Townsend to take it. 13 minutes in. Hagazi gets it away. And uh, look, man, finds Cotal. Maybe a chance on a break here. Cotal is storming forward. And as Toss St. Ricketts out wide, wise thing to give it up to him. And away goes our pacey Canadian. He's got Scott down to beat. He does beat him. He rolls it inside. Cottau! Oh, he's in the post. Cottau, where did he come from? What a start for Bray. But first, our first shot goes wide. Our second one hits the post. We've really began this game. And Jackie tracking back, willing to make amends. This is what we want to see. Commitment and desire from this Bray Wanderers team. Eugene son to Jackie. Into look, man. Caicedo. This time. Yes. Drills it home. Caicedo makes it 1 0. Third time lucky. And Bray have the early advantage. 22 minutes in. 
Oh, thank goodness for that. Brilliant counter-attack. Look, man, to Caicedo. And Caicedo drills it past Veroni. 1-0 Bray. Oh, I've lost my voice. It's only 23 minutes. This is the big basement battle, and I'm out of breath 23 minutes in just commentating on it. This is how much this game means to our season. Bray Wanderers 1, Crystal Palace 0. Get in. No, 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 Benteke storming forward, Ben Chill has got to come across here, and blocks the shot, and then Roy Carroll saves a deflected effort as well, good defending from Chilwell getting back, and Roy Carroll, excellent save. Eugene Sun to Jackie as Batman and Robin then cover the chance here for a second goal, Eugene Sun storming into the area, but lost control of it, there's been such little going on in this game, as we still lead by one, we're claiming the three points, just got to stay tight at the back and not throw this away. Oh, we are almost there. We are still leading by a goal. And that is going to do it. Final whistle. It was not a classic. It was a terrible game to end on. But I don't really care. Three points for Bray. Our first win at Carlisle Ground since October. And we move further away from the drop zone as well. Get in. That was a truly awful game. There was such little going on, despite there being apparently 15 shots. Most of the efforts were really half-hearted or blocked or easy saves, but for man of the match, I'll give it to the guy that got the assist, and after two brilliant performances in a row, his reintroduction to the first team is serving us well. Adam Ola Lookman setting up the Caicedo winner as Bray claim a massive three points in the big basement battle and so that will end today's episode of saving bray as well guys so a big thank you for watching i really hope you have enjoyed it and if you did enjoy today's episode then please do drop a like as likes are of course very much appreciated and it really helps channel out as well much love to you all have a fantastic night and i'll see you for the next episode of saving bray very soon featuring our final three games of december as we hopefully will climb even further away from the drop zone and see jackie get back on the score sheet i've got to say i'm quite concerned he hasn't scored a goal in such a long time now. It's been what? One, two, three, four, five, six. Is it? Did he score against Stoke? It was the last goal he scored against Stoke. If so, no goals in the last six and no goals since November. It's it's worrying. It's worrying. He's supposed to be our hero and at the moment he's, he's letting us down. Is he getting dropped in the next episode? Not against it.